Welcome back to Darkwood. We've come in towards the later part of day 16. We're still in the village. And we have some pretty big decisions to make quite soon about what to do with the key to the room that is holding the abomination. I'm not really sure what else to call them. Um, and also what to do about the sow. We still need to actually kind of properly explore the place with the sow, the pig shed before we even determine what our options even are for that, but yeah, there's quite a few things to do, but I don't really feel like I'm, I have enough time to do any of them today, given that it's 1520, so that's 3.20 p.m. It's getting a little bit late. It's kind of at that in-between where there's not really enough time to explore anything new, but it's also not quite nighttime yet, so I think I'm just gonna just go home and just bunker up for the night, and then try to figure out what my plan is for tomorrow. But before I head home, I had a hunch. I want to try talking to the chicken lady again and see if I have new items to show them. Because remember, when I went into that building that I used a couple lockpicks on to get inside of, and then I think I broke down a door, and I found that person that was eating bodies, human bodies, and I got the organ grinder, I wonder if I could show that to the chicken lady. I've got a feeling I can. I can't. Interesting. Because I was thinking maybe having the organ grinder was like an option to tell somebody in the village about it. To kind of tell on him, basically. Because they said, you know, you can have whatever you want, just don't tell anybody. Is there anyone else I could show that item to in the village? Not that I know of. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to head home and prep some stuff for the night and I'll be right back. Ooh, it looks like we're going to get enough essence for another shot. Thanks to all those mushrooms that I've found in that place beneath the the well. Yes. Okay. So I can still take these old ones if I wanted, I suppose, right? I don't particularly want these, though. So once a day for about a minute, I will be able to see all around me. Or my blood will hurt enemies. Doesn't specify how much it will hurt enemies, but that can only be a good thing. Then again, third eye. Hmm. Let's go with acid blood. Oh, actually, I can't select these old ones. Yeah, so I guess you can only select two per each level. Please don't give me another vision. I think it would have already, right? Yeah, okay. No vision. Alright, more processing. Okay, it's just about night time. I've got my pistol on me, and I've got two extra magazines here. I've got three Molotovs, I've got my shovel here, which I accidentally hit on my inner door here, which is why it's even uh, closer to breaking than it was before. And I can't repair it, by the way, I have absolutely no scrap. I've got my light armor, and then I've got my pills here. And I also, because I have so many extra boards and nails, I went ahead and barricaded everything, including even this door here. Everything else was already barricaded. Jesus Christ, and yeah, it's storming outside. Uh, but yeah, I barricaded this. This, I, I'll just leave unbarricaded. I don't think there's any reason to barricade it. And everything else was still barricaded. So, this will be for bugs. Pistol for everything else. This is going to be the first real combat test of the pistol, I suppose. We'll see how it goes. I hope it stuns enemies when it hits them. If it doesn't... Oh. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Come on in. How many shots is it going to take? My bet is on two. Three shots, okay. Let me see if I can go barricade that real fast. One, two, three boards, and where's the nails? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
probably should just keep some of those on me at all times. Okay. We're also gonna find out how many shots are in each magazine. So I already shot one when I was when I first fired this weapon, and then I just saw, shot three. That's four, and it looks like it's at about a half, so I guess there's about eight shots. Praying for no bugs tonight. Just because they freak me out more than anything. They don't seem particularly dangerous. Hello. Spirits. Conclusion on the pistol. It's really damn good. May take three shots for even those relatively weak enemies, but it does stun them, works from afar. Many shots, much, much safer than a shovel. Alright, let me prep for the day. Alright, I'm gonna sell and buy some stuff with the trader. So I'm gonna sell all the chicken eggs that I got, shiny stone and a staff that I got during the night from that savage that came in, and I'm gonna buy a red egg because I'm curious if maybe the chicken lady would be interested in it. I'm gonna buy the gas tank, so I was wondering about this. This is the thing I tried to craft to try to get into... Uh, I forgot their name. The, the boarded house that had the key in it from last episode. Turns out I couldn't craft it. Turns out the wolf didn't have it. Yes, it seems only the trader has it. And it's relatively cheap, too, so it could come in handy. And I'm gonna buy a couple wires because I want to make more lockpicks. Make one more. Full stack. See, I'll bring that red egg with me. Put this down here just in case. Oh, I bought some scrap metal. Uh, <clears throat> bought some scrap metal as well. I'm gonna take two extra magazines with me because I plan on going to the pig shed and I'm a little bit scared about what's gonna happen there, so I feel like I kinda need it. A little bit of a full inventory, but it should be fine. Right. So now come some of the big decisions. Okay, first thing, I'm definitely going to the pig shed. That's probably where I'm going first. No, it's definitely where I'm going first. I want to find out what's happening there. But with regards to the key, as far as I can think of, there's three different things I could do with the key. I could bring it to the wolf, which is what I kind of originally agreed to. 
They said if I bring it to them, they'll give me information on where I can get the key out of here. Um, I could give it to the little musician who's at the silo right here who wants to uh, break her out of that locked room and I guess go marry her or something. I don't know. Obviously a ridiculous fantasy that I'm sure would not come true. Or I could just open the door myself. I have no idea which one I want to do, to be honest. Here's some of my thinking. I don't trust the wolf. I don't understand how the wolf even knows that they are stuck behind that door and why the wolf would want them. I don't understand that, but it's a bit suspicious. The little musician, there's no way in hell I'm giving them the key. They have some weird fantasy. I mean, they watch them change through the window and they have some weird fantasy of marrying them. I, no, that's not happening. Or I could just go in there myself and, I mean, what would happen? Maybe, maybe nothing. Maybe I couldn't even talk with them if I made my way in there. I'm not sure. The thing is, though, if I, okay, so little musician's out. That's not happening. If I go in myself, what about the wolf? I'm assuming it would consume the key to open the door, right? If I did that, would the wolf not, like, would that be breaking our agreement? Would the wolf not help me anymore? In which case, how would I get the hell out of here? I don't know, but I'm inclined to not trust the wolf. I'm inclined to look for myself. Right. So I'm going to the sow. Going to the pig shed. Do I need anything else? Oh, um, I should repair my shovel if I can. I may not be able to. Oh, I can. Good. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, right, I gotta dismantle this. So I'm gonna go turn off the generator. Head to the pig shed, and I'll meet you there. It's pig shed time. I just want to mention, too, that I uh, threw the red egg back in the workshop, because I realized if I'm in the position where I'm gonna want to use the red egg to try to show it to the chicken lady, I'm gonna be in the village, in which case time has already stopped, and I can just travel through the tunnels, go back, grab it and come back here. So no reason to hold it in my inventory, really. We already looked around here. I think I just headed out, <laughs> yeah, to this spot right here. What did I drop? Logs? All right. And then I ran away. So let's hope, hello. Let's hope the people around here aren't going to kill me just on sight. I don't like the way it's slowly walking at me. Uh huh. Nope. Okay, we're okay. The noises in here are not okay, but that pig is not going to try to kill me. Oh. There's someone in here. Don't come any closer. Okay, okay. The noises in these places. When the flying fuck goes there? Hmm? Get out of here or we'll break your legs. The good thing is, I don't see any guns. I see pitchforks. Hee 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 hee. Ugh. Oh, that's the room with this, the sow. Do you think... Will he see me if I walk back here? I want to grab these mushrooms. Okay. Ooh, they're large, too. This will confirm once and for all, if you grab large mushrooms, does it just give you multiple normal mushrooms? It doesn't. Huh. I don't understand how that works, but I suppose it doesn't really particularly matter. So... It looks like there's two ways 
in here to the the bad place, either down there through that person who will undoubtedly try to attack me, or I think there was another way further down, right? Didn't I get into a position where I could reattach the cables and flip the lever? I forgot exactly where that was. How did I get there? Did I just, like, jump the fence? Because I could just jump the fence right here. Yeah, huh, alright. Yeah, there's, like, nobody here, right? I think there's, there's somebody inside, but nobody out here. Yeah. I hate how it sounds. Dear God. Okay. I wonder if I could distract that person inside by throwing a stone. I don't have a stone, though. I don't think this is a door here. I don't think turning on the cables is going to actually open any entrance. Need to turn on the power to use the lever. Huh. The little musician wanted a hunk of meat from inside that place. There's a person in there, right? Yeah. Alright. Ah, I wish I had stones to throw. I'm trying to think of something clever I can do. Can I try to make a distraction by just like, I don't know, shooting my gun somewhere and then hiding? Will they come to the sound of the gunshot? I don't know. I want to get past them. And I really don't want to turn on that power because I don't think it's going to get me in. I think it'll just shock the pig or something. Because apparently the power was the thing keeping it from eating people. I guess that kind of raises the question of why would I want to go in there to be eaten. But, um, you know. I don't know. <laughs> so we gotta get past this person. God, they're just right there. I could go back for stones. If I had stones, where would I throw them to distract them? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that solves it. Actually... Actually, how far are you gonna chase me? Because I could just run past you. Unless you chase me forever. Surely you'd lose track of me at some point. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Okay, maybe if I just run past them. And get back in here, maybe they won't be able to find me. see him. Okay. Oh no. I should have brought a flare. Are they back to their... Yep, so they're back to their post. Alright. That worked. Oh. 
It's not regular meat. It looks very rotten. It seems to know I'm there. It's snuffling with anticipation. I got some meat for you, kid. Oh, 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 oh. This, this animal. It's... Apparently it doesn't even eat anymore. It's... I'm pretty sure it would be better off dead. For everybody's sake, including its own. These people here are monsters. Um... I'm going to kill it. curious what the wires do, but I don't think it would change anything if I turned them on and I'd have to run away from that person, possibly getting speared by the pitchfork, trying to turn it on. I'm pretty sure it's just some sort of electric shock thing to keep it from, I guess, doing any, maybe moving too much or something. I think I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw that gas canister thing and shoot it. God, it is so disturbing looking. enough because that's as close as I'm guess as close as I'm getting and the tank will release the gas under high pressure have to throw molotovs at it, which is not exactly the best way to go, because burning, but, um, it doesn't look like anybody heard it. Well, you know what? If I'm gonna kill them, kill the pig and kill them, I might as well just kill them first and then see what the lever does, right? Even though I'm pretty sure it's nothing good. little poke first. Just a pokey poke. Save some ammo. We got stealth on our side, right? I might waste ammo, but I'm going to reload my weapon.
What's that noise? I didn't hear that before. I think it might have been a dog in the woods. It sounded awfully close. But anyway, <clears throat> anyway, they're still there. Um, so did it waste my ammo to reload? Or does it just put in your inventory? No, it wastes it. Okay, so you lose any bullets that you reload. They're close together, so I'm going to Molotov them. I don't remember the exact range of this. Hey there! That was quick. I hope back at the other village they don't hear word of this. Given that I'm killing everybody, I don't see how they could, but you never know. Ah, there's one more down here, isn't there? Down around where the switch is, yeah. I guess I just gotta go all the way around, huh? Yeah. Okay. I really hope I don't... Oh, shit, I just realized it's 1800. Oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh, it's getting late. Okay, let's do this fast? Question mark? I should probably just go home, huh? There's a whole house to explore, though. I'm going to explore the house real quick. Hey there. God, that's brutal, the gun sounds and everything. Oh, such a happy image of Mama and all the little piglets. <sighs> okay, let's grab the mushrooms and get home. We got about an hour. I should be okay. It's pretty close. So it looks like gas is going to supply the electricity to that thing, so yeah, we're going to have to do that later, next day. But we dealt with every single other thing, so we can just come back here real quick and do that. And maybe bring another explosive? Although, I'm not comfortable placing it closer, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Anyway, I'll meet you back home. Okay, barricaded, a couple minutes from nighttime. I did end up, by the way, just cooking the meat that I had. I was going to give it to the little musician, but I figured what's the point, because it was already halfway rotten, and by tomorrow when I can go out to them, it's going to be completely rotten. Okay. Have spare boards and nails on me, by the way. Oh, shit. Okay, those ones look to be weaker. I was wondering if they could open it while you're barricading it. They can. Pills. Nice. Can you 
use this opportunity to process some stuff. Got tired of knocking. You know, I actually have plenty of Molotovs, and I can make plenty, so... I'm gonna use a Molotov? They stopped. Curious. Oh. Come on. I don't know if this stuff stays, so... I'm gonna grab it. Need it for light armor. Till daybreak. Only thing I'm truly scared of, honestly, like the thing that I think might kill me, now that I have a weapon, or a gun rather, is the Banshee. The others it seems like I can pretty comfortably take as long as I have ammo. But the Banshee, I don't know, that thing scares the hell out of me. I think we're good. you've enjoyed so far and when I return I'm gonna go back to the pig shed gonna turn on the power and flip the lever and see exactly what it does and almost certainly I'm going to kill the uh, I keep I don't even know if I want to call it a monster I mean it kind of is but I mean it's just a It's a creature that's just become mutated because of the infection and whatever it is around here. It's been tainted. It might be a monster, but it's not like it's evil. It's just a poor thing that's transformed into something horrible. Probably in constant pain. Yeah, I'm gonna deal with that. <laughs>